Okay, YouTube, here we go. Um, got some things I need to go over with you really quick. It's going to be a short video. Now, I need you to listen up because you got a decision to make. Okay? Um, I just spent the better part of two and a half to three hours uh, going over this latest and not so greatest Jonathan Clegg video. Do not even try to get out of the truth that is coming. Vengeance is coming. Okay? Here's my notes. Front and back. And what this means is I'd have to do an, another all-nighter. I, I can't even tell you how many times I've pulled all-nighters doing this. And so, but, you know, the work I'm doing here is causing problems in my home. Um, and what I mean by that is you got characters like uh, cult leader Cleck here pumping out false doctrine left and right, left and right, left and right. And for a couple of years at least now, maybe more, I've been putting videos out correcting his false teaching and I've yet to get any support at all or ask for it. And um, But my, my wife is feeling the strain. Uh, we're living on Social Security and I got cheated out of $700,000 when I sold my business. I sold it at the top of the market. Um, the guy that bought it, to make a long story short, the, he was making so much money it went to his head and he started snorting coke and drinking and chasing girls half his age and wrecking trucks and you know, made a, make a long story short, I had to take the business back and by the time I took the business back, it was damaged. I kept trying to find people to help run it. I was going to offer them stock on anything uh, that they built, but they'd work two or three months and say, where's my stock? I'd say, well, where's the increase in revenue? So I was a part, uh, separated from my wife for 14 months on that and um, supporting two households. Ended up selling the business for 10 cents on a dollar because when I sold it originally, it was top of the market. and. Um, when I sold it the next time around, I was lucky to even find a buyer. Uh, it was the bottom of the market. <clears throat> so, uh, we're over here in the Philippines. I've been trying to get a ministry going off the ground, and you know, it takes money to do that. And we don't have any income besides my Social Security at this point. So, um, you can tell the wall behind me is not finished, and you know, been doing what we can do, we're trying to open a coffee shop, trying to, you know, do whatever we can do to generate some income, but that even takes money, you know, so we're, we're struggling. So anyway, um, I got to thinking before I spent another eight to ten hours uh, putting check and, or, or click and check again, um, I, Derek, Prince did a video and I watched it today and he was and basically it says don't help people who are not willing to change so I don't know how many of you subscribers are willing to change are this is beneficial to you I mean I have gotten some comments thank you thank you thank you you helped wake me up I didn't feel good about click and you've confirmed that and stuff like that and that does help but you know, what I'm doing is not bringing income into the family. And um, so it's, it, it's causing marital problems. And so what I'm asking for here is those that can. I'm not, you know, I'm not asking everybody, if you can't do it, you can't do it. And I get it, and I, that's okay. And I've never really wanted, you know, money to help us anyway. I've always wanted it, you know, to help poor people. Like... You know, my wife, I sit and watched her cry for 30 minutes the other day because of the kids in the mountains. Um, she knows of a teacher that, you know, the kids don't go to school, and so she goes hunting for them, and she finds out they had to stay home and watch their siblings because mom and dad was working in the rice field. And if you know what working in a rice field is, it's horrible. It's, uh, you're up to your knees in water, and there's leeches, and they're sucking your blood, and it's, it's just ugly. And it pays very little, and it's just back-breaking work, literally back-breaking work. So it's tough here, 
and these kids don't have much and so I've, I've always even though kids make me a little nervous you know I, because I don't tolerate unruly kids I do care about them and I do have compassion for them so I want to help them and support them I just, I just don't want to be that near them because like I said if they get out of line I'm gonna you know say something to them so I leave that up to the wife and sister-in-law and all that but getting back to what I was saying um, if you guys if this ministry helps you or you think it would help somebody else out there could you do us a favor and you know shoot us a few bucks to our PayPal I don't even know if our PayPal still works because it's been so long since I got a donation it's, been, it's probably been two years and uh, <clears throat> so you know it would really really help and, and it would help me convince my wife that you know this this is helping uh, the family as well as helping other people so I'm kind of in a bind I mean I spent you know this is what I drink for coffee I, I don't know can you guys see that I, I haven't had a you know fresh brewed cup of coffee in a long long time and you know it's all instant and I spent you know, three hours a day trying to fix this hot water bottle and, and you know, the craziest thing happened. I don't know if you can see that, but this thing has no lid. And the, the handle fell off and the wife didn't want to tell me and then I found out about it. And um, so I spent some time. It was quite a job to, you know, get the handle back on here because they don't make it easy. I got that done and then the, the lid that snaps on here I cannot explain this, but there's a spring in there, this little needle or, or, or little uh, latch, you know, you pull the top and, and that's what moves the latch back and forth. And so I, I, I took the cap apart and there's supposed to be a spring in there and it's completely gone. I mean, I cannot explain it. I said, who took this thing apart? She said, oh, 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 we didn't do it. And I asked our helper here, did you do that? No. So, so it's all crickets. I mean, and, and I'm just like, my mind is blown. I'm like, how could this happen? How could the spring inside of a closed lid, because there's nowhere for it to go, and springs just aren't raptured. <laughs> They're not, you know, dematerialize and fly away under normal circumstances. But uh, I don't have a spring laying around, so I actually got creative and cut a piece of gas line, of all things, non-used gas line in the section because it's a little bit springy and notched it and wedged it in there to get to get it going and I've got it in a uh, a vice over there to make it long story short and I'm trying to trying to fix it I mean that's the links we go to to try to save a, a peso so um, if you guys could help me I'd really appreciate it because like I said I would like to do this this video um, I mean if you that rebut this guy I mean listen to what he says here I mean this is if this doesn't blow your mind that people need to speak out against this I don't know what will but let's see if you can hear this here we go this off hell yeah I'm a fallen angel we're all fallen angels and we got linked up with a superhuman angel demon spirit <laughs> yeah y'all are toast Mm. I mean, tubs. Yeah. You hear that? He actually said piss off. I, I, you know, and this is supposed to be a prophet of God. So, <coughs> if there's a, it, you know, if this isn't a need to expose this guy and stay on him, I don't know what is. And I know a few people doing videos, and maybe that's enough. Maybe there's already enough people out there doing it. And maybe you guys, you know, don't don't see what I'm doing is necessary and if that's the case okay but I'm just telling you up front I can't continue to do this uh, way I'm doing it because um, it's actually damaging the relationship with my wife and she's not seeing the love and support from my subscribers and it's actually kind of making her doubt the whole process you know that, that God's in it so you know I think God's in it because uh, what he teaches is not of God. 
and some of the things he quotes. I mean, to make his case, he quoted this uh, Dr. W.A. Criswell uh, to try to make his case today. And Criswell is very, uh, uh, you know, he's famous for pushing the curse of ham theory that uh, all blacks are cursed and uh, by God, you know, and they're supposed to serve white people. I mean, this is where he's pulling his research data from. So I think, you know, that he needs to be exposed. I think he needs to be challenged. And I get comments um, like this. This is, you know, this, is, this Wayne guy, he seems like a nice enough guy. He says, maybe you need to watch a little more. I'm an old man, everything I thought I knew was deception. He said, government, the church, it's all fallacy. The word of God is the only thing that is true. Look up the words in Strong's uh, concordance. If you have one, get one. Or excuse me, if you don't have one, get one. And I, you know, I just did a video on Strong's. You know, if you listen, if you do some research on James Strong, real quick. Uh, the word is he's a Freemason. He was hanging out with pedophiles and hanging around with hanging out with Satanists in one of his research groups. It's not hard to find. I'm not making this up. Okay, so if that's the case, he obviously has an agenda. Uh, but that aside, that aside, Strong's Concordance is not an inspired book. And so this is my reply to Wayne. I said, Strong's is not an inspired book or scripture, and it's often misused, which is what my last, one of my last videos was about. He says, maybe you should research who James Strong was and who he hung out with. That said, 2 Timothy um, 3, 13, 15, King James Version says, but evil men and seducers will wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the teaching which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Jesus Christ. Now, understand, you know, that, that's saying a lot, but it's saying you get your information from the scriptures. Don't get it from Strong's and don't get it from false prophets like Jonathan Clack. You know, Mr. Nylon, you know, equals no lion. Mr., you know, fallen angel come and tells him to do a Hail Mary, and that's his uh, prayer of salvation. Uh, Mr., you know, piss off, and I mean, the, the dude is just out there, Mr. Penis and vagina you know and there again true to form he couldn't do this video that he just did without talking about penises and vaginas and ejaculation I mean the guy is just he, he's just out he's just he <laughs> I don't know how to this I mean he's lost it he's a brick short of a load so and then one more, real quick one last Comment, I'm, and I'm constantly dealing, you know, with these trolls, uh, and I flush most of them, but some of them I let their posts stay and stuff. But here, I mean, here's an example that one caught up, got caught for review. Um, it says, oh, and his name is Stephen L. Uh huh, or Seven L. Excuse me, Seven L. Lomas. It says he checked this out. He says it's fools like you that took J.C., the Lord God, in the flesh, to the cross. The, and I'm not going to say the word, effing, Jews don't even believe J.C. has been yet. And F.F.S., I guess he's calling them effers or something. But, I mean, this is, this is the caliper of alleged Christian that Kleck is bringing up. Um, not only does he cuss and swear, but his crew cusses and swears. And I think he needs to be exposed, and I think more people need to spend a lot more time exposing him. Like I said, this is 10 hours of work here. This, this, this took 
about three hours to do and um, I've got all these points I want to debunk but I gotta hear from you so I want you guys to vote do you guys want me to continue to do this I need to see in the comment sections yay or nay my feelings aren't gonna be hurt either way but you know I've got to be thinking about my family and I got to be thinking about my wife and you know if, if, if I can get a little bit of support at least enough to but you know pay for some coffee and buy us a maybe a real coffee pot because we are working on cop working on trying to open a little coffee shop you know to make some income so if you guys were you know think that this ministry is a value to you and it's been and it's helped you at all or you think it'll help somebody else and you got a few extra bucks laying around can you do us a favor and buy us a cup of coffee sing us a few bucks I mean I'd appreciate it let me know and um, you know if I if if this will help you and if not I'll bow out gracefully and um, you know spend some more time with my wife and uh, I'll just leave the videos that I've uh, done up and we'll just leave it there so let me know vote in the comment you want me to keep doing it and uh, or you don't want me to do it and if you can support us the wife knows the story she's all bummed out and now I gotta go spend some time with her so with that take care love you God bless you and if there's anything I can do for you let me know take care now bye bye